Do you have any uh, big plans for this cab? Uh, yeah, you and me and a night when Michael isn't on the premises. That sounds good. Is it safe? Yeah, you live here, of course it's safe. <laughs> hey guys, happy turkey day. Hey, yeah, you too. Where, I thought you were you know, hanging out with your mom? Uh, actually, Jack took everyone to Manhattan for the parade. I couldn't, I couldn't go, so. Oh, because of your probation, I'm sorry. I didn't want Morgan or Jocelyn to miss out because of me. I'm, I'm fine, really. Well, well, it's that's perfect. good. You, you can, can come stay to the here watch football with us. something i think it's a damn shame for two smart beautiful women to be wasting themselves uh, th themselves on, 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 a, on a couple of good-for-nothing spencer men spencer is, is mr luke here Ugh, mr luke is coming here to see me his fiance not you alice why don't you go scrub a toilet alice don't you pour one drop of my single malt for that scallywag luke spencer and his recently acquired offspring are the worst kind of freeloaders if you feel that way, then why offer me a million dollars to stay married to Ethan? Well, you see, I think there may be some hope for that boy with my incentive and your good influence. Hmm? Mr. Luke, come on in. Alice, offspring. radiant as always. Well, thank you very much. How would you like one of those single malts? Oh, bless you, my child. Traitor. Edward, what? Brought you a top-of-the-line Cuban. Oh. Enjoy. Stolen from my humidor, no doubt. Tracy, you look like a million bucks. Actually, that would be Maya. I look like a lot more. Mm. Our first Thanksgiving as husband and wife. Exciting. Mm -hmm. It's something to celebrate. Follow me. Alice is getting the cocktails. You do know that Thanksgiving's a pretty big deal around here. Ah, uh, pilgrims, Native Americans. Right, yeah, but these days it's more about gluttony and football. American football, that is, you know, one with the helmets and the forward passing. Well, except for those details, it's like every Sunday with my brothers. Well, I was kind of thinking we could change things up, maybe have a nice little Italian dinner in the city, just the two of us. Well, aren't you supposed to be with your family? Thanksgiving. Thank you. How are you? I'm um, doing better. Doing better. My daughter is uh, a genius. It's a good looking hand. It's a turkey. A turkey, of course. It is. Yes, it's just it's very uh, impressionistic. I get it. I, I, I get it now. <laughs> um, okay, look, I'm, I'm here on a completely different mission. Hmm. My sisters don't think that things have progressed as far as they should. Oh, yes, you're talking about Uncle Mac and Alexis. Yes, please tell me that you're still in. Yes, I'm in. <sighs> Alexis is having Thanksgiving, and of course, Mac is invited. Oh, good, does he know yet? Not yet, and neither does Alexis, but they work really well together. I mean, they've gone out on a few dates, but she really doesn't consider them dates, but I, I think they really do work really well together. They do, they do. She's perfect for him. She's so intelligent, has a great sense of humor. Yes, they have similar interests. We wouldn't go that far. Max a little uh, pedestrian. A little what? They both have the law thing. They like kids, and they're lonely. That's yes. that. They're what lonely. more do you need than the lonely mm -hmm. thing? You guys really need to work on your poker faces. <laughs> okay, we need Mac and Alexis together for Thanksgiving dinner, so we have to get Mac to Alexis's house, okay? We will, we'll take care of Mac. Okay, okay. thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye. This isn't gonna be as easy as last year. I mean, Mac's planning on spending Thanksgiving here, mostly to keep Patrick away from you. Oh. Yep, 
That's the last of the charts. This one here, too. And uh, thank you very much for pitching in. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, it's Thanksgiving. Day for self-reflection. What are your plans besides sitting around and wallowing in your misery? Count I'm going to pick up Emma at daycare. I'm going to bring her to Robin's room, so at least we can be together as a family. Kiss again. I got Thanksgiving dinner for my girls. You're more than welcome to join us. You take one lousy, faithless step in the room, I'll break your kneecaps. Why aren't you with your children? Well, uh, Elizabeth's grandmother is having dinner. She invited Nicholas and his little boy, Spencer, which is great, and Aiden's having his first Thanksgiving, so they're all gonna spend it as a family. So I was hoping I could spend the holiday with you. Well, what about the rest of your family? My dad? Well, he's spending the, the court remains with his fiance, and they invited Ethan and Lulu and me, but... It... What would be a reason not to be there? Oh, there are so many. Look, imagine a family that, that lies, cheats, blackmails, and swindles. Mm, sounds like fun. Well, that would be the Spencers, traditionally speaking. But the Quartermains, they do all that and more before breakfast. And the thing about it is, is they have a huge mansion to do it in with, with gardens and servants and a big boat dock and the whole nine oh, yards. Sounds it's, horrible. It, it is. Get uh, over yourself, Lucky. Let's go. May I fix you a plate, Popsicle? Actually, I think I'll skip the arsenic. I don't get it. Well, why don't we go to your room and I'll fill you in. Have you learned nothing of romance? When you care deeply for a woman, when she's the light of your life, never let the opportunity pass to tell her. Where's the cheese? <laughs> you realize we haven't had a chance for romance since Vegas? I worry that we're growing apart. Romance, nothing. This marriage is strictly business. That is not what I agreed to. Oh, yeah. We agreed that we were going to stay married for a year. Then Edward pays us a million dollars tax-free, and we split it 50-50. That doesn't mean we can't enjoy ourselves. Well, I'm having a blast. You are very entertaining. Hey, why aren't we eating dinner? We are waiting for the rest of our guests to arrive, Daddy. I know I'll be sorry that I asked, but who's missing? Just lucky Lulu and Dante. Oh, God, Lucky always tries to fleece me at poker, and Dante is the son of that reprobate Corinthus. Violence and misery follow him around just like cheap cologne. Ah, you know what? I got turkey sandwiches, a fridge full of beer, and, and a marathon of football about to commence. Really? Because that's what they invented DVR for, so we could spend time with family. <clears throat> yeah, but my family's not here. My mother's in bed and doing the Falcon Airy thing, and you, you obviously weren't talking about Sonny. Actually, Dad's doing a bash for Thanksgiving with Bernie and Grandpa Mike. They like to fight over who's the better I shit. I was talking about the Spencers, and they're with Tracy at the Quartermains. Uh, but Tracy despises Sonny and me as an extension because of the gene pool thing. He's got a point. They're my family. It's a counterpoint. And my dad just got engaged to Tracy. Okay, this is a great opportunity for me to have some good bonding time with my brother. Oh, you're gonna use the brother card? That's so funny because I have two of them and they're waiting for us at the quarter mains and I thought this was gonna be the chance that the rest of the family would get to know the man that I love. I set the turkey on fire. I'm going to get another one. Oh, Sam's already picking one up. Oh, next year I'm going to learn how to cook turkey for everyone. Good girl. Eight. There's only three of us. You, me, Sam, Molly's in L.A. with her dad. What's the deal? Well, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without Diane. And it wouldn't be Diane without Max. Okay, two more. That's five. Who else did you invite? Hello. Hi. It's here. It's here. Trimmings are in the car. Thank you for anticipating. No, don't touch. Don't touch. Uh, Sam, remember that. Um, yeah. What about the surprise side dish you promised? Oh, that's all taken care okay. of. What side dish? Christina. Oh. It's Taylor calling from Hawaii. Hi, Taylor. Have a city in again. Christina. Who else did you invite? Wow. That's really beautiful. But you know what? I don't think you and Max.
Max, you should be spending Thanksgiving in the hospital. Too bad. You're stuck with us. <laughs> Why don't uh, you go back to the hotel and change? I didn't realize there was a dress code. You should wear that blue sweater that I bought you when we went shopping. Kidding me? I love that blue sweater. I don't want to get cranberry sauce on it. It's a perfect Thanksgiving sweater. What's going on? Dr. Hunter, call neurology. Alexis likes you in blue. Call neurology. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't. She invited us for dinner. That's a crock. Alexis hasn't invited me anywhere in ages. Then whose fault is that? Alexis isn't interested in having a relationship. Don't push it. We're only doing this because we love you. And Alexis doesn't. How do you know? Did she tell you that? Not in so many words. Okay, listen. Sometimes a woman, she needs a man to step up. And, and know that she's worth fighting for. Yeah. What was the last thing you guys did together? Dr. Megan Grossbart, to pathology. Have you called her? Oh, you're such a guy. Look, I've been a good sport about this Alexis thing, okay? But it's going nowhere. And besides, if she threw herself at my feet right now, I'm not leaving you alone. Who End of story. I'm, alone? I'm not letting Patrick come in here to grovel for your sympathy and get you to feel sorry for what? him. That's it. So you get to interfere with my life, but I can't interfere with yours. White near dark. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to Alexis's because I'm not rude. Happy Thanksgiving. That good example you've always set for me, huh? Yeah, I should stay here with Michael. He's had a really rough year. I'm okay, really. What? You know, the quartermates would love it if Michael was there because he's one of them, technically speaking. Uh, actually, I, I wasn't really invited, technically speaking. That's right. You weren't invited. Come on, I just want—I was really looking forward to sitting on my couch and ODing on sports. <gasps> I hear the quartermains actually have a TV. That's awesome, but it's not my TV, and it's not my couch, it's not my beer. I don't, I don't want to drink all their beer. Okay, that's fine. I get it. I mean, you had your heart set on this. Why shouldn't you be able to do it? Wait, you're still going to go? Well, yeah, I mean, Tracy's had her heart set on this, and I don't want to disappoint her. I mean, I know it's our first real Thanksgiving together, but it's not like we're joined at the hip, so you should be able to do whatever your heart tells you to do. Bye, guys. Oh, don't cave. Stay strong. You just got played. from the humidor. I am not too sure Edward would be happy with you stealing his cigars on the heels of his oh-so-generous offer. Maybe I don't want the money anymore. Maybe I want to stay married to you anyway. Or maybe you'll say anything for me to have sex with you. Okay, why are you playing hard to get? I, I did already get you. <laughs> and how long would you have stuck around without financial incentive? Okay, you huh? really think I'm that shallow? Yes. Okay, you're right. Mm -hmm. But I um, am very much admire your intelligence, and you have an incredible body. <laughs> Is that your idea of a compliment? Yes, and it's true. <sighs> there is so much to plan for a wedding. Corporate takeovers are easier. Whatever you want, sweetheart. Translation, you don't care. I do care. I care about your happiness. Isn't that enough? And while we're on the subject, I want you to keep the next four Mondays free for dance lessons. Dance lessons? Oh, come on. I can Viennese waltz with the best of them. Oh, no, no, no. Argentine tango, the dance of love. Uh, if that's the one that ends in tragedy, then it's perfect. No, Daddy. That's the Paso Doble. Oh. You, my friend, have three responsibilities. First, you are to pick up the tab. Second, you are to sign the prenup. And third? Give you a manicure? Buy her a ring, you buffoon. That's how people can tell I'm betrothed. 
Of course I'll buy you a ring. But I'll do it in my own time and my own way. <laughs> Which means that he hasn't had time to steal one yet. Oh, please. Look who's here. Ah, cowboy. Glad you made it. And you brought the wee bunny lass from Dublin. Oh, what a delightful surprise. Sean, thank you so much for including me in your family gathering. <laughs> I was in danger of feeling homesick. Oh, 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 my dear, you are enchanting. Where'd you find this lovely flower? Oh, I, I picked him up at a bar. 